welcome to the Entrusting the Faith podcast. I'm your host, Eric Rutherford, and this is episode three of a 10-part series. I'm uh, really launching my new book, Leading Well at Home, How Husbands and Fathers Can Biblically Lead Their Families. And joining me today is my daughter, Jill. Say hey, Jill. Hey. Awesome. Well, Jill's joining me today during this first section, which is a Q&A time, uh, just giving um, an opportunity for her, Jill to ask me some questions and kind of seeing what it looks like that you can do in your own home, uh, just, just on your own. So, all right, so you're coming back for more. You've made it through a couple of, of podcasts. So far, so good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So you have a question today? Yes, I do. So awesome. my question is, what are some ways that I can be intentional in my friendships? Intentional in your friendships. Mm -hmm. All right. So just being intentional in our friendships, uh, this is applicable for you. This is applicable for me. This is applicable for anybody listening in today. Um, being intentional really starts with uh, seeing the other person as really part of God's creation, made in the image of God. So once we do that, we see that everybody around us is valuable, mm -hmm. whether we know them or whether we don't. So uh, now being intentional, what that, what that, one thing you can do with that is just being very cognizant of uh, maybe what's going on in their life or even asking them. You know, So if you have somebody who, who has a big event going on and they're really stressed, you know, one thing you can do is just Say, hey, how's it going? Send them a text. Just give them a call. Reach out to them and try and encourage them. If something as exciting is going on, you know, that's, that's awesome too. You can just say, hey, how's it going? And you'll know, be excited with them. You know, in Romans, it talks about rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. So just being there for them. And then just really, you know, just asking questions and listening. Mm -hmm. uh, and that can be hard. It is for me. Uh, so just being able to listen to them and seeing what's going on in their hearts and just, just being a support for them in that way. So does that sort of answer the question? Yeah. Awesome. Well, cool. Thank you for asking the question, and I uh, appreciate you being here. Yeah. Uh, so thankful that, that you're helping me out with this. Yeah, thanks for letting me. Oh, my pleasure.